Now in this section, this little section here, we have the sequencer. So we have the pattern button, which takes us directly to the patterns. And from here, we can go to groups. And groups are made up of patterns, so just FYI. And then we can go to song. And a song is made up of groups. Okay, and so this is where the linear section of the sequencer is. Okay, there is a linear sequencer in here, but not in the normal sense that you're used to. Uh, also right here, we have the t direct line to a TR rec, and this allows us to do more uh, step-styled recording right in here, and that's where we would integrate these pads to go ahead and highlight those steps, and we'll show you that later. Okay, let's exit one time. And now if we want to, we want to have some drum tracks, a, a drum beats or patterns, we can hit right there, rhythm pattern, and it'll take us to the rhythm, rhythm patterns that are available within the Phantom. We could have a preset type of group uh, of rhythm patterns we want to play back. We can go ahead and adjust the kit that's in there. And then all we have to do uh, to launch them is just to go ahead and press the buttons or press right here. And we can just bring them in and out very quickly. Okay, so I think that's that section right here. Now let's move over. Let me exit one more time. All right, so now if we check out this section of the fam, there's a lot going on here too. Uh, first off, here's our sampling button, and this gets us to all the different types of sampling, uh, be it through internal sampling, through the pads, through, to the keys, to storage. Also to import, uh, we can check our wave memory. You know, a lot of different things right here, and that's just from this one button. Let's exit one more time. I'm going to go to this one, and this is a, also a very important button. It shows us all the different types of pad modes that are available in there. Uh, normally, we associate pads with just drum uh, samples and just uh, just making beats this way. But in the Phantom series, in the Phantom O, you can go ahead and have a lot of different functionalities available and then have these saved to the particular scene that you're working on. So uh, we're going to explore these in greater detail. And many of these are going to get their own video so you can really learn how to harness and utilize them. Let's take a look at the bank button here. The bank button is really used when we have the sample pad up. Okay, so we can go ahead and have that sample pad and we have different banks available to us. Four banks of 16 available to us. So that's 64 uh, samples we can have right there. And of course, the hold button, if we have a rhythm pattern or something like that playing or a sample, we can go ahead and press that hold and it'll hold it to that pad. All right, so we'll explore that more in the future. So as you can see, this is just an overview of what's available on the top section of the Phantom. There's a lot of things going on here. We're going to explore many of them in a lot greater detail. But I wanted to give you uh, just a basic understanding of what each section of the Phantom does. So that way you feel more comfortable working on it. So it's, it's very easy. So join me in the next video where we're going to take a look at the rear panel of the Phantom so we can get started making some music. All right, I hope this helped you out. You guys take care and we'll talk to you later.